The last prisoner of war in Afghanistan is now a free man. But there was a price for Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's freedom. The American soldier was held captive by the Taliban for five years. In exchange for his release, Washington had to spring five Afghans held at Guantanamo Bay. Our D.C. correspondent Robin Stickley has the details of the deal that went down. Robin? Robin, after a week of intense negotiations, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, the last U.S. soldier being held as a prisoner of war in Afghanistan, is free tonight and back in U.S. custody. Just hours ago, the exchange was made. The Taliban agreed to hand over this U.S. soldier, Bo Bergdahl. In return, they demanded five Afghan detainees be released from the U.S. prison at Guantanamo Bay. I'm sure the Taliban were delighted they got five of their people out. That's probably not a significant uh, detriment to U.S. national security. The details of the rescue mission are remarkable. Multiple U.S. helicopters and drones descending on a location in eastern Afghanistan. Once on board the aircraft, it was too loud to hear. So Bergdahl communicated by writing the letters SF, meaning special forces, with a question mark on a paper plate. The soldiers responded, yes, they'd been looking for him for some time. Hearing those words, realizing he was free, Bergdahl broke down. Certainly a very good day uh, for uh, Sergeant uh, Bergdahl and his family. Bergdahl's capture in June 2009 is still largely a mystery. He walked away from his U.S. base in Afghanistan and was taken by Taliban fighters. Well, I'm scared. The last so-called proof-of-life video of Bergdahl was released in January, but his parents never gave forgotten. up on their only son. You are not forgotten. The deal comes just days after the president's visit to Afghanistan and his announcement the U.S. combat role there will end this year with complete troop withdrawal by 2016. The U.S. says it has assurances the detainees released into Qatari custody will be under a travel ban for one year. But there are renewed calls today for the White House to close Guantanamo Bay. Maybe this exchange will start a national debate on closing Guantanamo. The president said this week at West Point he still wants to close Guantanamo. Just 23 at the time of his capture, the now 28-year-old sergeant is said to be in good health under a doctor's care at Bagram Air Force Base. He'll talk to his family by telephone tonight, a moment they've waited and prayed for for five long years. In a statement from the Bergdahl family tonight, they say they are thanking the U.S. government, ecstatic, relieved, and can't wait to wrap their arms around their son. Officials tell us the family will be reunited in Texas later on this month.